Hello, today we will discuss about light and dark reaction in photosynthesis. There are, uh, these are some questions of light reaction MCQs. So, let's start with introduction. So now as you all know mechanism of photosynthesis. The process of photosynthesis completes in two steps, light reaction and dark reaction. So photosynthesis, light reaction and dark reaction. So light reaction is also called photochemical phase. And it occurs in thylakoids. Whereas dark reaction that is also called thermochemical phase. And it occurs inside the stroma of chloroplasts. So now in, li in light reaction it begins as soon as light quanta falls on. PS1 and PS2. Uh, located in thylakoid. So pigment molecules pass their absorbed energy finally to their reaction centers and which take part in photochemical act. So two photosystems they are connected in series with each other by the components of electron transport chain. So reaction center becomes excited uh, so they escape high energy electrons which move to nearby electron receptor molecules. So electrons move through two pathways non-cyclic and cyclic. So the non-cyclic electron transport it involves participation of both PS1 and PS2. Whereas cyclic electron transport, it involves only PS1. So in non-cyclic, the light energy of specific wavelength is absorbed by chlorophylls and accessory pigments of PS2. So here we have the react in uh, PS2, the reaction center is P680 or chlorophyll A680. So P680 becomes photo excited and exudes an electron with a gain of energy. So the electron, uh, this is the uh, here are this is the complete cycle of non-cyclic uh, photo uh, photosynthesis. So here electron is accepted by Q known. Q known is the primary receptor. So in non-cyclic, the primary acceptor is Q known. So the reaction center comes to ground state by getting an electron from photo oxidation of water. So overall process involves conversion of light energy into chemical form that is called quantum conversion. So here we have the term quantum conversion. Now basically what is quanta that is uh, light energy, photons of light energy. So this word quantum word is coming from photons of light, light energy. Okay, now uh, let's see little bit non-cyclic. So non-cyclic is P680. Okay so this what happens high energy of specific wavelength so here we have an unknown substance Z okay so first step occurs that is photo oxidation of water photo oxidation also called photolysis of water so PS2 reaction center uh, transfer electron to primary receptor it will become oxidized so here here comes P680 that is you know, why I have made this arrow this is excited PS2 
Okay, now this will go to Q, Q known. Q known is the primary receptor. Further, PQ that is plasto Q known. From PQ it will move through PQH2. H2 means hydrogen is adding. That means re uh, reduced form. Then further electron will go to cytochrome F. Further electron will go to PC that is plasto cyanin. Now then it will go to P700. Now P700 that means uh, photosystem one. Okay then. Now coming to P700. P700. P700 is uh, here again. Light will come. Excitation of light. So this is excited PS1. Okay. Now first this will go to A. A then FD. FD is peridoxin. One second. Pigment molecules of PS1 complex they absorb solar radiation and transfer their absorbed electronic excitation energy to P700. So, so now electron emitted from P700 is accepted by an unknown acceptor A. So A is unknown acceptor which transfer its electrons to peridoxin. This is an iron containing protein and it is placed at outer surface of thylakoid membrane. So re now reduce peridoxin donates its electrons to NADP positive. Now why I am saying reduced because here what happens NAD, NADP positive NADP means nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. So NADP positive takes electrons from peridoxin. So this NADP will take electron from this peridoxin. So protons from the medium and will get reduced to NADPH. So enzyme used here is peridoxin NADP reductase. Okay, so this was about PS1, PS1 complex. Okay, then we have, so uh, this was all about non-cyclic. You remember in non-cyclic, both photosystems are there, PS1 and PS2. PS2 is P680 and PS1 is P700. So this was about non-cyclic and coming to cyclic. Cyclic electron transport pathway. So cyclic electron transport occurs only occasionally when synthesis of carbohydrate is curtailed due to limited supply of CO2 and NADP starts accumulating. So at this time there would be no uh, no need for additional NADPH. So cyclic electron transport serves the purpose of more production of ATP when needed by the chloroplast. So this is done by PS1, right? So in cyclic photosystem involved is P700. So all that P700 like in uh, non-cyclic same it is same as uh, p700 in uh, non-cyclic cyclic okay that is same reduce peridoxin then uh, and reduce nadp positive then cytochrome b6 plastoquinone cytochrome f and plastocyanin these are the components involved okay then we have photophosphorylation photosynthetic photophosphorylation or photophosphorylation 
इफ आई से फोटो सिंथेटिक फॉस्फोराइलेशन और फोटो फॉस्फोराइलेशन दस द सेम थिंग सो इट इज़ द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉस्फेट ग्रुप ट्रांसफर इन टू ए डी पी फॉस्फेट ग्रुप ट्रांसफर इन टू ए डी पी टू सिंथिसाइज एनर्जी रिच ए टी पी मॉलिक्यूल मेकिंग यूज ऑफ लाइट एज एक्सटर्नल एनर्जी सोर्स सो हियर ए टी पेज कॉम्प्लेक्स इज इन्वॉल्व सो ए टी पी सिंथिसाइज ऑन ए टी पेज कॉम्प्लेक्सेज एंड इट इज लोकेटेड ऑन सो दिस इज फ्रॉम सिंथिसाइज फ्रॉम ए टी पेज कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज लोकेटेड ऑन नॉन एप्रेस पोर्शन ऑफ थाइलाकॉइड नॉन एप्रेस पोर्शन ऑफ थाइलाकॉइड मेम्ब्रेन नाउ हियर वी हैव द टर्म नॉन एप्रेस्ड वन इज एप्रेस्ड एंड द अदर इज नॉन एप्रेस्ड सो एप्रेस्ड मीन्स क्लोज्ड और यू कैन से इन साइड सो वेन एवर द टर्म एप्रेस्ड कम दैट मीन्स इट इज बिटवीन ग्रेना एंड इन नॉन एप्रेस्ड दैट मीन्स इट इज ओपन और यू कैन से आउट साइड सो इट विल फेस द स्ट्रोमा सो इन फोटो फॉस्फोराइलेशन ए डी पी इज कन्वर्टेड टू ए टी पी सो फॉर द प्रोटोन ग्रेडियंट टर्म इज हेयर हाइड्रोजन देन वी हैव द टर्म प्रोटोन ग्रेडियंट सो हेयर हाइड्रोजन प्रोटोन दे आर रिलीज इन थाइलोकॉइड स्पेस आफ्टर ईच प्लेट ऑफ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल ड्यूरिंग फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन ओके देन देन कमिंग टू dark react one second dark reaction so dark reaction also called thermochemical reaction it occurs in stroma of chloroplast you remember here dark reaction thermochemical also called thermochemical phase or thermochemical reaction occurs in uh, stroma of chloroplast okay so here uh, what happens is m kelvin and his colleagues they used chlorella now how how it uh, this dark reaction it develop chlorella so uh, here they use chlorella this is a unicellular green algae as the experimental organism so experiments were done on chlorella this is an organism this is green alga unicellular okay so the chlorella so uh, uh, then Cal kelvin it was discovered by kelvin okay then So Kelvin observed that after three, uh, he exposed chlorella so in presence of CO2, CO2, the so C14 that is radio isotope of carbon, and so it was found in three phosphoglyceric acid. So here, three phosphoglyceric acid was the first stable product of photosynthesis. Okay, so here comes the. So we, due to this name Kelvin, there is a cycle Kelvin cycle. Kelvin cycle or is also called C3 cycle. So first stable product of Kelvin cycle is a three carbon compound. So the cycle is also known as C3 cycle. Okay, so this was about uh, dark reaction. Okay, now let's come to questions. Choose the end product of non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Two ATP, two NADHO2, eight ATP, 
12 NADH O2, 6 ATP 2 NADH 2 O2, 6 ATP 3 NADH 2 O2. Now here they are talking about non-cyclic, right? So if you see this. So in non-cyclic, PS1 and PS2 is there, right? So uh, we have to see both PS1 and PS2. So here both photo systems are involved PS1 and PS2 and non-cyclic it occurs in grana thylakoids. So in PS1 ATP production is there okay and now because PS1 and PS2 both includes light reaction. So PS1 and PS2 they are connected in series by electron transport chain. So during this electron transport chain NADPH that is formed. Now how this NADPH is formed from NAD positive. Now where now where is this this where this is occurring this uh, reaction this is occurring in PS1 photosystem 1 here in feridoxin at feridoxin stage oh, ok this is PS2 this is PS1 ok now this feridoxin stage NADP positive is getting reduced to NADPH now here oh, the reaction is like this feridoxin this is double R one minute feridoxin plus NADP positive plus H positive it will form NADPH plus feridoxin this is oxidized and this is reduced now oxidized form of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that is NADP it is commonly abbreviated as NADP positive so during its reduction one electron is required to make it NADP okay if I take NADP positive right will require one electron to make it NADP positive so one when one electron will add it right it will become NADP so additional one electron and one proton make it NADPH so additional one electron one electron and one proton proton that means H positive it will make it NADPH pH so if any DPS DP positive is reduced by combining with two electrons and two protons so NADP positive is getting reduced by two electrons and two protons so the resultant reduced form of uh, this uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleate phosphate will be NADPH plus H positive so this equation will be NADP positive plus electron then single electron for just to uh, remove this positive sign single electron to make it NADP then another electron then H positive plus H positive 
this comes out to be n a d p h plus h positive why uh, uh, additional i mean two electrons are required because uh, to uh, make it in reduced form wherever h is there right that means it's in reduced form you uh, the uh, the they can write n n a d h or n a d p h we just have to look for this h hydrogen it, uh, they can write n a d n a d or n a d p h okay so now uh, coming to the question so big uh, since it is occurring in series by electron transport chain so nadph comes here uh, from here the series because in non cyclic both are connected right first ps2 reaction occurs then uh, uh, come it after it is followed by ps1 so two na the answer is two to atp to nadh and oxygen now coming to oxygen uh this is uh, the first step of non cyclic that is photo oxidation of water photo oxidation of water also called photolysis of water now here in photo oxidation of water what happens 2h2o it will give 4h positive plus 4 electron plus oxygen so non cyclic pathway okay uh, here are this uh, some steps so first step that is photo oxidation of water okay now coming to second question uh, the site of water oxidation and source of oxygen evolution in photosynthesis lies in inner space or lumen of thylakoid b stroma c outer surface of thylakoid d crystal so here they are uh, talking about water oxidation right so water oxidation that means uh, they are talking about photo oxidation of water so this is the first step in non cyclic electron transport pathway so here again what happens p680 is there in non cyclic both uh, photosystems are there p uh, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 here p680 that is i'm talking about photosystem 2 so now uh, how this reaction takes place photo oxidation or sometimes it's called photolysis is also given it's the same thing so ps2 reaction center p uh, p680 by transferring ele electron to primary receptor becomes oxidized so the oxidized chlorophyll takes replacement electron from water now it will split releasing oxygen to this is the same equation so uh, it requires manganese mn2 positive and chloride ion cl negative a water oxidizing enzyme and unknown substance z so it's believed that oxygen evolves as oxygen gas so here we require z that is an unknown substance okay then along with z we have oxygen evolving complex that is manganese 2 positive and cl negative okay then or sometimes this is written as plus plus now h2o 4 h2o this 4 is for balancing the equation here we have water splitting enzyme it will give 4h positive oxygen and 2h2o so electrons uh, so electrons separated by ps2 uh, reaction center through unknown substance z 
and hydrogen ions this h positive hydrogen ions they temporarily stay in thylakoid space so they stay in thylakoid space and non cyclic it occurs in grana thylakoids right this space stay in thylakoid okay then uh, so here they are saying a source of oxygen in pho photosynthesis lies in so that is inner space or lumen of thylakoid thylakoid space so the terms are thylakoid space or loculus in simple terms uh, non cyclic uh, pathway it occurs in grana thylakoids okay then coming to next question in context of photosynthesis which of the following statement is true photo ionization takes place only in ps1 b cyclic pho photophosphorylation involves both ps1 and ps2 photolysis of water takes place during ps1 ps2 precedes ps1 uh, so here they are asking true statement okay for pho uh, photo ionization takes place in ps1 that means they are talking about photo oxidation of water photo oxidation of water so that was in p680 and p680 photo system 2 right so this is wrong cyclic photo phosphorylation involves both ps1 and ps2 in cyclic only ps1 is there right photolysis of water takes place during ps1 in ps1 what is there p700 but photo oxidation takes place in p680 that means ps2 so this is wrong ps2 precedes ps1 precedes means uh, that ps2 uh, reaction takes place first and after that ps1 so this is true first p680 reaction takes place photo oxidation of water okay then it goes to q known then plasto q known then pqh2 and further to p700 so please so this is photo system 2 and this is photo system 1 okay so d is the right one coming to question number 4 who discovered pho uh, photophosphorylation an Arn unknown editor von meyer clavin editor hill this is h so photosynthetic phosphorylation or photophosphorylation the same thing this is also called photosynthetic phosphorylation so it is the process of phosphate group transfer into adp to synthesize energy rich atp molecule if you remember this photo uh, photophosphorylation so uh, atp is formed right and here comes atp is complex that is a non oppressed part okay then uh, proton gradient is there so this this is about phosphorylation now come going to this uh, question back so in photophosphorylation ps2 complex is there then cytochrome b6 complex is there ps1 complex is there then atp is complex is there but we just have, uh, have to remember this atp is complex because uh, atp uh, production is there it uh, adp plus inorganic phosphate and here h positive is released so further it forms atp this is atp is complex is somewhat like this okay so the answer is it was discovered by arnon it it all okay coming to next question during z scheme of photosynthesis electrons of which of these reduce any dp positive for system 1 water co2 photo system 2 Okay, so here they are talking about Z scheme. If you remember, in 
that photo system one sorry uh, sorry not in photo system one it in photo system two in p6 uh, 680 there was a uh, there was an unknown substance Z, right so actually here they are talking about photo oxidation of water and photo oxidation it, are, it is a part of non cyclic in non cyclic both photo systems are there ps1 and ps2 ok so here we will talk about photo oxidation that occurs in p680 so electrons are accepted by ps2 reaction center through unknown substance z now what happens p680 is there this is a reaction center unknown substance z is there then we okay this so electrons are accepted by ps2 through this through z that is uh, that is an unknown substance so next we have oxygen evolving complex mn2 positive and cl negative and here we have 4h2o then for water splitting enzyme is there 4h positive o2 and 2h2o so here they are saying during z scheme uh, of electrons which of these reduce nadp positive which of these will reduce NADP positive okay here in uh, this NADP positive that means uh, this they are talking about uh, re reduce rate that is uh, NADPH they are talking about NADPH so first step is uh, photo oxidation of water after photo oxidation sorry first step is when uh, that is q known that is primary receptor q known steps of non cyclic so light energy that is absorbed by ps2 right this is the first step after that photo oxidation of water okay second step then uh, high energy electrons that leave PS2 they are captured by Q known so then it transports them to electron transport system okay, then they transfer to electron transport system electron transport system is plastoquinone cytochrome complex and plastocyanin so the electrons of plastocyanin they are picked by ps1 so now comes the ps1 so simultaneously pigment molecules of similarly electrons from uh, the previous and that is from plastocyanin it now it will go to ps1 so same procedure will occur they will um, absorb solar radiation and transport and trans, um, transfer absorbed electronic and excitation energy to ps reaction center that is p700 so now electron emitted from p700 is accepted by unknown acceptor a here now in here in ps1 we have peridoxin right so if you remember fe uh, this peridoxin this was about a uh, feridoxin NADP positive is uh, reduced to NADPH also uh, uh, during electrons of which of these reduce NAD so here it is reduced in the fourth step that is on PS1 in feridoxin here that is uh, with water okay now coming to next one now because 
uh, NADP positive three. It is occurring in photosystem one, but uh, here they are asking electrons of which. It it uh, takes place in PS one P seven hundred only, but uh, electrons electrons uh, electrons are from that uh, water only. Uh, the uh, photo oxidation of water the electrons they are transferred to primary receptor so these electrons these are coming from here only this uh, this z scheme right so these electrons are coming these electrons are transferred from here only from p680 to p700 okay next one Which of the following process does not happen during light reaction of photosynthesis? Photolysis of water, B reduction of carbon dioxide, C photophosphorylation, D reduction of NADP. Uh, so here they are talking about uh, light reaction. So light reaction. Uh, they are asking uh, which does not happen. This so is light reaction. It takes place in grana of chloroplast. Okay, so here comes a P, uh, PS1 and PS2. Okay, that uh, that is included in non-cyclic. So PS1 and PS2 both are involved in light reaction. And uh, sorry, not here. One sec. Uh, 